Hello friends, welcome to our channel Kastor Classes and in this particular video I am going to discuss one of the very important algorithm which can be helpful in solving lots of uh, com competitive programming questions, okay? That is prefix sum technique. What is that? In computer science, the prefix sum or cumulative sum or inclusive scan or simple scan of a sequence of numbers x0, x1, x2 is a second sequence of numbers y1, sorry, y0, y1, y2 and so on. Those are basically sums of prefixes of the input sequence, okay? Like if you consider this one, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, then prefix sum will be 1 for first element as it is. For second element, add the previous, add, start from 0 and add up to that, 2 plus 1, 3, okay? For the third element, uh, Starting from 0, add all these elements, 1 plus 2 plus 3, you'll be getting 6, right? For fourth element, you add first four elements, 1 plus 2 plus 3 plus 4, you'll be getting 10 because 3 plus 2 is 5, 4 plus 1 is 5, 5 plus 5 is 10. Okay, so prefix sum basically adds all the numbers uh, starting from index position 0 to that particular index and that added result is we put that in the particular index in the output list or output array, okay? So, like here the algorithm I have written, this particular concept can be implemented in Python very easily using list slicing and sum uh, method, okay? So, consider this particular list, 3, 4, 1, 7, 9, 1, okay? So, what will be my prefix sum array? For 3, it will be as it is. For 4, the second index, we will add the first two numbers, 4 plus 3, that is 7, okay? For the third element, we will add first 3, okay? 4 plus 3 plus 1, which will result into 8, okay? For the fourth element, we will add all these, 3 plus 4 plus 1 plus 7, okay? Which will result into 15, right? Because 7 plus... Uh, 1 is 8, 4 plus 3 is 7, so 7 plus, 7 plus 8 is 15. Then, uh, if you consider this index, which is 5th index, you have to add all these numbers, right? So, previously we were getting, after adding this, we were getting 15. 15 plus 9 is how much? 15 plus 5 is 20, 20 plus 4 is 24. So, 15 plus 9 is 24. 24 plus 1 is 25. So, this should be my output. So, what we can do? What we can do? Simply... To create the prefix sum list, we will traverse in our input list. Okay, each time we will basically calculate the sum of the sliced part of the list and how we will do slicing. We will do slicing starting from the first index to that particular index plus one. Okay, that is this concept. Okay, see here I am, I have written the code i equal to 0, this i variable we will be using for traversing in our input list, g equal to an empty list we are using to store the prefix sum, while i less than length of list, i equal to i plus 1. And this is the most important line of the whole algorithm, g dot append, we are appending the prefix sum in our output array or output list, and what we are doing, sum of list colon i plus 1. Okay, so colon i plus 1 means we are not giving the first index. That means by default it will take from index position 0 to i plus 1. i plus 1 means you know that whatever end index we give in the slicing, it will take uh, just previous value up to that. Okay, so if, if you are giving i plus 1, that means it will, it will take up to i. So basically we are slicing starting from 0th index to ith index and we are taking sum of that, we are appending that in our output list. That's all. So using this we can get our prefix sum array or prefix sum list. So two concepts we require, one is slicing, another one is sum. So let me directly go to uh, Jupyter Notebook and show you the code. So first of all, suppose we are taking our input list and then we are taking input uh, i equal to 0 and then while i less than length of the list, okay, then i equal to i plus 1 or you can write i plus equal to 1 also in shorthand notation, okay. Here I am defining one output uh, list as empty list and then output dot append sum, already I have discussed sum function, right, it will take sum of all the elements present in the list. And each time we will basically apply slicing and then take sum colon i plus 1. Okay. 
so that's all but we have not taken input list right so here i will be showing you one new concept remember i have uh, shown you eval function present in python using that also we can take input as list okay so eval evaluate the particular string expression right so if we write directly input it will take in string so what we can do if we write eval uh, and keep the input inside the parenthesis of eval whatever list you will be giving as string notation it will convert that into actual list okay using this also you can take input complete list from the user instead of using while loop or for loop that is instead of using looping statement you can use this particular way also okay and then finally i can print my output which is basically going to be my prefix sum array if i run the code see now in a single line i will be giving all the input so what was my list 341791 all right 3413417891 if we hit enter we are getting some error type object is not acceptable it is not okay just let me check here uh, if i run print type of l if i run 341791 okay class is list so type casting is done see here my input list variable given name as l but here we are using list it should be l so now if i run the code 341791 if i hit enter see i will be getting my prefix sum list as 37815242525 and see the output 37815242525 so our prefix sum uh, is completely working this particular algorithm okay same algorithm i will be posting in the comment section if you want you can check there and using that we can solve lots of problem that i will be discussing in my upcoming videos thank you for watching